All right, guys, this is going to be a video on how to use my custom name, Sniper, on GitHub. You can go follow the GitHub right now in the description. So first, you're going to click the code button. Then you're going to click download zip. This is for people who don't know how to download it yet. And then you're going to open it in your file explorer. I'm using Firefox, the browser, right now. Uh, if you don't have that button, you can always click on downloads, and it'll be there. So first, you're going to click extract all. That's going to make a new folder because you can't do this in a zip file. Then you're going to open that up in the folder now you're gonna go to requirements you're gonna run this first it says this I guess because of C types I'm not sure though because it's never happened before to run a dot bat you can always read the code if you want I mean shit it does literally nothing except pip install some stuff so there's valid names I think this is about to open in code uh here let me just open with notepad so it's empty right now that's all right now in names you're gonna put a list of names that you want it to check so let's say i wanted it to check right now i have two hundred thirty thousand names that i wanted to check that's fine to get a list of names i would just search common english words like here here are a lot of, right here like ten thousand english words.txt then you're gonna click raw Control A, Control C, and then I would go here. Let me actually get rid of some of these. And then I'll paste this inside of names, and then Control S. Make sure you Control S. So then, if this doesn't work for you, then I would really recommend you click the Start button. Sometimes running it through Command Prompt helps. Uh, in the settings, you've got color toggle. These are all toggles. You just have to replace yes with no and then control S and then it will not show any color. As you saw, it showed color last time I booted it up. I guess it can show color right there, but when you run it, it won't show any more color. Uh, but if I do click yes and then I go back here and then I start it, then it will show color. So nerd stats, what nerd stats are, is if you turn yes, basically, you know, on YouTube with nerd stats, it'll basically just show you all the JSON and stuff for the APIs. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to turn that off. That's kind of annoying, if you ask me. Uh, everything should be great. And this is nothing. It's just a bitmap file that doesn't even open. It's just trying to say that you're in the settings right now. So now your it'll check all your names. The help folder is right here if you need any extra help. You're gonna run main or run start, whichever one you want to run. You're gonna click enter, and uh, what I'll explain while it checks all the usernames. So it's gonna have your date and time right there. It's gonna have the partner Discord server and the main Discord server. The top one is always the main Discord server slash term is our go-to Discord server if you have any questions. So it has a date, then the time, and then that's this binary code for yes and no. If it's green and it's one, then you got a valid. And uh, right now it's status is checking because I picked some pretty common names, but when it does say valid, it will be green and then say valid, or depending on if you have color or not. And it'll put a 1 here, and then this will be uh, green as well, I'm pretty sure, or it might be gray. I haven't gotten a valid yet, but if I were to, let's say, use my other generator to my, uh, just open this in a different... I mean, if this would just fucking open, and uh, if I use my name sniper right here to generate some names let's see if i already have some names i already have some names i need way more names than that here let me just straight up cl clear this real quick uh digits and username six i do four yeah sure and uh while those generate i'll let them generate up to like 300 Uh, why not, why not go a little bit more? Uh, so now I'll copy all these, pretend that these are my usernames, and I'll paste them 
inside of the names that you see these are all valid so they'll obviously all check is valid so then boom it's gonna say valid as you see right there so font color changes it says valid and it's gray and there's no periods after that so then when it's valid it prints in valid names at txt so you could leave this running all night on anything you really wanted to and then you didn't even have to check through here you just checked valid names at txt and then those are your valid names right there so that's how you use my custom names generator that's how you download it to all in one video uh, i hope you really enjoyed this you know i'll be uploading more soon uh, but right now, I think I'm going to get to sleep, and uh, there's a new video coming for you guys uh, in the morning for me. So, I'll probably be making some more tools for uh, September 20th or 19th. Uh, depends on uh, if you guys leave some suggestions or not. If you do, that would be great, though. I could probably program some username generators or maybe account generators for that. Uh, for for you of course so uh that's how you use my shit and uh yeah thanks for watching the video